In Calhoun County tonight, a family is grieving the loss of a 14 year old girl tragically killed in a hit and run incident last night. Troopers say the teen was walking on a road in Altha when a driver in a UTV crossed the center line and hit her with the vehicle before fleeing the scene. Today, as News 13's Erica Orstad tells us, law enforcement is one step closer to finding the suspect involved. In Alpha, hearts are broken. This hits close to home for me and my family, uh, as well as it does as the Mossy Pond community out here. Florida Highway Patrol Lieutenant Jason Kink says it's a difficult day after a 14-year-old girl was hit and killed by a driver who fled the scene. Leaving the scene of a crash involving a child, it takes a special person to do that. He says she was walking southbound along Lake McKenzie Boulevard when a driver going north in a white UTV veered across the center line, hitting the teen and a nearby call box before fleeing the area. Never looking back, uh, just, just kept going, uh, which we find is, is very, very hard. I, I don't understand how anybody could do that. The teen was pronounced dead at the scene. It's just, it's hard to swallow. It's something about a child being involved and a, a, a careless act of an adult on top of that that just really drives this community to reach out to look for answers. One answer found on Sunday afternoon as Calhoun County Sheriff's Office deputies spotted the vehicle from the incident in the woods in Jackson County near Sleepy Hollow Road. It's been taken into custody by investigators. The driver has not yet been found and Lieutenant King says the community and Florida Highway Patrol will do everything they can to bring justice for the victim's family. Whoever uh, may have done this, I, I would ask them to take a step back and, and evaluate their life and, and as an adult own the responsibility of what occurred. And we just ask that, you know, come forward. He says anyone with any information about the incident is urged to report what they know to the FHP Panama City office. You can find their contact information on our website, mypanhandle.com. In Alpha, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong. As of 9:15 this evening, Lieutenant Jason King with the Florida Highway Patrol says there have been no arrests made in this case. The accident is still under investigation and they are currently looking for any and all leads which would confirm a driver. If you have any information, head to our website mypanhandle.com for a full list of law enforcement agencies you can report it to. The South Walton Fire